Aww, animals. Does anybody smell bacon? Hello, hello, hello. What's all this going on here then? No, it's not a police academy recruit trying to escape, but is in fact a runaway pig being chased by London cops. Uh, sorry if the pig joke was too obvious. We apologize for hamming it up. And the comparison is probably a bit unfair too. After all, pigs are intelligent creatures. <coughs> anyway, this dashcam footage was uploaded to Twitter by London traffic cops last week. It shows an escaped porker on the loose with the boys in blue in hot pursuit. A uh, have-a-go hero in luminous yellow tries to stop the animal in his tracks, but the pig proves to be an elusive little swine and sidesteps the jogger like O.J. Simpson heading for the end zone. According to the cops, the pig shut down traffic for a short while, but the pork was eventually pulled and returned to its owner. If you think this case of a pig on the loose is unusual, think again. It's like a remake of the movie Babe over in England right now, with runaway pigs cast as the protagonists in some truly crackling stories. Take this little oinker, for example. Last week, this pig stopped traffic in both directions on the M62 freeway in Yorkshire. The local newspaper even covered the dramatic events in a live blog. But there was no twist in the tail, and the pig was eventually hogtied by the cops and sent home. In September last year, a 420-pound pet pig named Pog tore down an iron gate and made a break for freedom from his owner's home in the town of Ipswich. Pog hogged the headlines after stopping traffic during her 90-minute trot around the local neighborhood. Pog's owner said she just wanted to get out there and meet people, which is probably all this guy was doing until the cops spoiled the fun. Killjoys. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Animals just want to roam free. Bengal tiger escapes from cage in Taipei Zoo. Dato, which means big head, a Bengal tiger residing in Taipei Zoo escaped from his cage last week and took a leisurely stroll around the zoo. A zookeeper had cleaned Dato's waiting pool but had forgotten to close the outer door to the cage after leaving. When he opened the connecting section between Dato's enclosure leading to the pool area, Dato was able to take a leisurely stroll past the waiting pool and out the door. It was another staff member who noticed the large, fully grown Bengal tiger as he curiously strolled around the public area of the zoo. Thankfully, it was still during the early hours of opening and no guests were in the area. Staff quietly closed off the area and the zoo veterinarian was called in. Dato was tranquilized with a dart gun and then transferred to the animal hospital for a quick check before moving back into his enclosure. Dato woke up and seems to be in good spirits, once again limited to exploring the edges of his enclosure at the zoo. Marauding cow shot dead after trampling cop. A police officer is in hospital, one child is injured, and this cow is dead following an incident in Longview, Washington. On July 26th, a cow estimated to weigh some 800 pounds escaped from the Cowlitz County Fairgrounds, seen here at about 3.30 p.m. It was spotted strutting down Ocean Beach Highway near the grocery outlet about a half mile from the fairgrounds. When officers spotted the bovine, they said it was frightened at first but soon turned angry and charged at one of the men. The cow injured one officer's leg. It also ran over its child owner and proceeded to run into police and civilian vehicles. Eventually, officers were able to tase the cow into submission. They then pumped lead into the animal in a yard down the street. Police said it was an angry cow and needed to be destroyed. Rest in peace, cow. You're in a better place. Cow escapes slaughterhouse, runs for freedom in Queens. Holy cow, this cow really didn't want to get eaten. When a cow escaped from a slaughterhouse in Jamaica, Queens around noon on Thursday, amused crowds stopped to videotape the calf running for its life. Look at this on Jamaica Avenue! What did you? What did you? <laughs> Unluckily for the animal, the NYPD cornered it in a parking structure and captured it later that afternoon. This wasn't the only hoofed mammal to have recently run loose onto the streets in Queens. Two days ago, the NYPD captured a goat that had run away from home and returned it to its owner. The poor cow never stood a chance. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Runaway pet kangaroo hops around New York. A runaway kangaroo named Buster caused quite the commotion Saturday morning after he got loose and hopped around a New York City neighborhood until police arrived to help capture him. 
the one and a half year old was reportedly brought over to Staten Island by its upstate New York owner on Friday night so he could be shown off to his owner's friends. Initially kept in a backyard enclosure, Buster escaped after the enclosure's gate was left unlatched. He made his way into a nearby parking lot and got a chance to finally experience true freedom. Sadly, it didn't last, and police arrived within 15 minutes to spoil the fun. Authorities surrounded the marsupial, but his owner arrived just in the nick of time to explain the whole situation. It's unsurprisingly illegal to keep kangaroos in New York City, but Buster's owner, an apparent exotic animal enthusiast who's previously owned a peacock and even a zebra as pets, escaped scot-free and wasn't charged or even issued a ticket. Llama on the Loose Add this to the file labeled Things You Don't See Every Day. Yep, that's right. A llama spotted making its way around Oconee County, Georgia on January 4th. Police initially responded to calls from citizens all over town of a camel running through the streets. But they quickly found out the suspect in question was actually an escaped llama who'd somehow broken out of its owner's property and decided to trot along down a busy highway. During its adventure, the llama quickly rose to fame on social media, spotted by motorists and pedestrians. Both amused and confused by its presence. He's going to Starbucks. Oh, he's running now. Police managed to corner the llama behind a dumpster in the back of a restaurant. The restaurant owner provided a bag of carrots to lure the animal into custody, and its owner arrived with a van shortly afterward to bring the fearless camelid home to safety. But not before taking a few fun photographs with its rescuers. If this is a sign of things to come in 2017, then this calendar is shaping up to be a pretty fun one. 99-year-old woman wakes up to find exotic animal on her chest. This is a kinkajou, a nocturnal mammal from the raccoon family that is native to the rainforests of Central and South America. This week, a 99-year-old woman was asleep in her Miami-Dade County home when an escaped pet kinkajou named Banana snuck into her bed. Maybe Banana was lonely because she laid on the woman's chest and reportedly caressed her face while she was sleeping. The unidentified woman screamed when she awoke and realized what was happening. The kinkajou fled to the attic, where she had to be coaxed down. Kathy Mogari, a friend of the elderly woman, played kinkajou sounds and used cherries to lure the animal into a cage. Mogari took the five-year-old banana to South Dade Animal Hospital, where Dr. Don Harris tranquilized the scared critter and gave the two-foot-long kinkajou a clean bill of health. The owner of the kinkajou, Raymond Fernandez, said he left banana with his brother while his home was being tented, and she escaped from her cage. Banana was reunited with Fernandez on Wednesday. Fernandez has plans to visit the elderly woman with his kinkajou in tow, but they'll probably wait until she's awake this time, so she can spend some quality time with banana. Kinkajous are also known as honey bears and can live up to 23 years in captivity. They can turn their feet around to climb up and down trees, where they spend most of their time. Zeke the monkey delights and terrifies Florida neighborhood. Well, that's the strangest dog I've... Wait a second, that there's a... Yep, that was a macaque monkey named Zeke going bananas in the wild state of Florida. Early Monday morning, a local resident called the cops to report a monkey eating mail out of a mailbox. Another local who stopped her car to watch Zeke's monkey business must have pissed off the primate as he pounced on her car, jumping up and down in wild abandon. Jumanji! When police arrived, Zeke decided their unmarked squad car needed some redecorating and began peeling off the car's trimming, making a total macaquery of the law. After a few more minutes of animalistic behavior, an officer decided to offer Zeke some water. And as he began fiddling with the bottle, boom, Zeke was captured. Ha! Fell for the old give the monkey a water bottle routine. Zeke's unidentified owner was found to have the proper permits and a legal enclosure for the animal that includes three perching areas. But the owner was cautioned by cops, as Zeke also escaped back in 2012 and reportedly scratched someone. Naughty monkey! No one was injured, including Zeke, but where do you come down on exotic pets? Fun or foolish? And please, do us all a favor and come up with some better puns!